Recently, Google has shipped a lot of updates to improve their Gemini models, and they've added in a lot of new features onto the Google AI Studio that went fairly unnoticed. So in today's video, we'll be going over some of the new changes, and we'll be testing out the new Gemini models to see how they compare to some of the best models in the market. So let's go ahead and get started. So you want to get over to AIstudio.google.com, and this is where you can play around with all of the new models and all of the new features included in the Google AI Studio. Let's quickly go through them. Number one is the ability to edit and create images. So we can now edit and create images using um, Gemini. We can also generate a story with images. We can also generate images and text simultaneously. So now Gemini will be able to generate text and images, which is perfect for blog posts. So we'll be testing that out to see what the output quality will look like. There's also the stream real time feature, which allows you to talk to Gemini uh, using the microphone. You can also show Gemini your screen and it will be able to see your screen, walk you through what it sees, and it can troubleshoot any issues you may have. There's a couple of starter apps here. And then we have um, the library and you can also tune a model um, using Gemini AI Studio. So a lot of really developer friendly tools in which you can use. Let's start with the image editing. So we can start with a pre-made prompt here. So you can upload an image onto Gemini and then you can tell it to add some chocolate drizzle to the croissants. As you can see here, it can edit your existing image and I can ask it now to add some almonds. Let's run that. And it should be able to generate that image as well. So the images are pretty quick, as you can see, it's not very long that it takes to edit your images. So the use case that I think would be good for this is that say if you have a product, you can upload your product onto Gemini, and then you can add any effects in which you like, and you can edit that image as you like. So that's pretty cool. Now, when it comes to generating images, I wanted to compare uh, Gemini with my own tool, which is image.wordrocket.ai. If you want to try it out, you can try it out for yourselves. So I took a simple prompt that we use to generate a blueberry pancake. Um, let's use this prompt instead. Blueberry pancake Pinterest style pin. So this is the original image that I was able to generate with my tool. Now let's go ahead and paste this into Gemini. Now let's go ahead and run this. It's interesting to see the comparison of the image quality when you're generating a new image. So this is the image that we get back from Gemini. It's not bad, but of course, you know, I would say that the image that we got from my tool was a little bit better. I think even the quality is a little bit lower. I don't know if there's something wrong that I'm doing, um, but overall, I actually do like this image. I like that it was able to follow the instructions and write the text um, in a syrup-like style right onto the page. I think that looks really, really good. It's just a quality for me. So maybe there's something that I can do to improve this. But as of now, I think the image quality is still, it's still pretty good because the text looks decent. Um, but again, not as good as some of the other models. But as soon as this becomes good, I will definitely, definitely be integrating it. Again, we still are running our lifetime deal. This is definitely one of the best AI image generation tools for social media, for blog posts, for Pinterest. Um, so if you want to check it out for yourselves, we do have a lifetime deal running on the website. So I will leave a link in the description below today's video. Let's continue with Google AI Studio. So I told it to turn this image into a t-shirt, but it was actually referencing the image before. And it was kind of able to turn that into a a t-shirt. Let's actually go ahead and see what this looks like. Okay, so this is not bad. It was able to take that text and then turn it into a t-shirt. Of course, it doesn't look the best there. But these are the things in which you can do. You have a much more powerful image editing tool, which allows you to then, I think the best use case is going to be for product images or product designs. You can upload a design and then tell it to turn that into a mock-up for a, you know, for a model or for um, a t-shirt, and you can upload that onto your, your store. So again, for example, I uploaded an image of this doctor and this is the original image. And then I told it to turn his black, um, his lab coat black. And this is now the new image that we get back. Again, this looks really, really good, right? Like it was able to follow the instructions. Um, it was able to know exactly what I wanted to do. And it didn't really take away from the original image. Yes, there's some difference here that we can see. But again, it looks pretty good, not bad by any means. It even got the gradient and it was able to follow the instructions to the T. The next prompt in which I asked it to do was to take the logo and add it onto the image of the man. And it kind of did it. It kind of combined those two images together. It doesn't look the best. But again, this is the capabilities that you have with a tool like this. You can really edit images very, very quickly using AI and combine the image um, very quickly again using these models. Next, I upload an image of a product that I have. I took a picture of it and then I wanted to recreate this into a clean product image for our website. And this is what it looks like. It didn't get it 
verbatim uh, or even design wise but as you can see here again the possibility is that you can possibly upload a image of a product in which you have and it can in turn that into a mock-up that you can use on your website so again very cool um, capabilities I don't think it's there as yet in terms of quality but I could see it definitely improving in the next couple of months and becoming a very very valuable tool now let's go ahead and try using the ability to generate images and text so I've given it a very, very simple prompt. Write a 2000 word blog post on the benefits of green juice in the morning with images throughout the article. And let's see what it's going to give us. So this is the first image, looks really good. Second image looks really good as well. We get some nice fruits. Um, we get a nice pour here. Again, more images. This is pretty good, right? Kickstart your day. The green way in the world fueled by coffee and rush breakfast is a vibrant nutrition packed quietly gaining popularity imagine starting your day feeling energized focused and nourished from the inside out support healthy digestion this is a nice image radiant skin and and hair okay so overall this is the copy in which we get back not bad by any means i think that this is a pretty good article um in my opinion the images look very very kind of basic and a little bit stock ish it doesn't look as clean as i probably would like it to look like but again overall you're able to generate text you're able to generate images in one shot i think that this is a pretty pretty cool tool especially for seo so this is something i'll be looking into um integrating into my tools as well especially my blog um image generation tool and also my blog writing tool which is still currently under development but i'll definitely say check it out there's a couple of cool features in which you can use again um, with the starter apps you can tune a model you can even see some prompt gallery of different prompts in which you can use you can definitely get some good use case or even just some, some fun using gemini ai so i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video i will see you in the next one take care